everyone, Lights and Gear is here with a flashlight review and I'm talking tiny today because I have what is uh, one of the latest lights from Fulamov and uh, I guess I am pronouncing it right. Of course I've reviewed their lights before but never heard it correctly pronounced by a rep. But um, anyway, we will continue to call it Fulamov and this is well, they pretty much just say that it's an EDC flashlight, but uh, it's actually the C2. And this is uh, something very small, perhaps one of the smallest lights I've seen in quite a long time. And uh, the box, although they had a sticker here on the back, I tried to get rid of just to get the information underneath. But uh, it is pretty powerful for a light this size. 525 lumens on turbo as advertised and it uh, is actually 12.4 grams it's actually less than an ounce as far as its overall weight but it is waterproof to IPX8 and it comes with its own battery which is USB rechargeable and uh, again here on the back it just gives you the basic info on its output where you have turbo, high, medium, and low, plus moonlight. So you have a, a nice array of outputs on this very small little light, and not bad uh, run times either, uh, comparatively speaking. And it's also impact resistant, of course. In, but pulling everything out, you will see what I'm talking about as far as the light goes. Um, it's this little fellow right here. I dare say there's probably a cockroach somewhere in the world that's bigger than this light. But anyway, inside the packaging you have your USB cable. It is a standard. It's not a C. And here's the little tiny user manual which gives you just the right amount of information. And uh, oh yeah, elsewhere in the package was also these two very uh, whisper... <laughs> I don't know, they're almost, they're almost not there. A couple of spare O-rings. Anyway, let's um, look at the flashlight a little bit closer. It actually, um, its size, I guess, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's hard to imagine how small this light is. It, you could um, put it against um, a, a tube of lip gloss, and it's a lot smaller than that and you could put it against um, a double A battery and it's a little bit smaller than that so that's your size right there it's uh, less than less than two inches tall or long and as I say it weighs less than one ounce it comes with its own battery which I mentioned a couple of minutes ago and the uh, tail cap, as you can see, is completely tail standable, of course. Not quite a word, but there you go. Taking off the cap, the battery is pre installed. It is a 14300 lithium ion rechargeable battery. And here is its USB port, which you can plug the, well, you can plug any. USB cable into that standard size and if you even did not want to charge it this way you could actually use an external charger there aren't a lot of external chargers which have slots that are small enough to accommodate a battery this small the MyBoxer C8 which uh, has eight slots I have found will accommodate it but most people will just find it a lot easier just to plug the USB into the side of it, which is what it's intended for. Now, as soon as you connect the USB to the battery, there's actually a little indicator on the top here, and that will, that will be red as long as it's not fully charged. So obviously, I would assume when you go to charge it, you have uh, been using it for a little while. So this will be red as soon as you plug the USB in, and then it'll turn blue when it's all set and charged. And you can have a look at the pictures of that at my written review at lightsandgear.com. So, 
you cannot uh, you cannot charge it in you can you know you have to take the you have to you, you can't charge it inside the light you have to take the battery out to charge it so there's no USB port on the flashlight itself so as far as those spare o-rings are concerned there's one of them right there on the end and uh, your standard little tail cap here it's just so small it's just hard to believe and here's your pocket clip which they have already pre-installed and the pocket clip is uh, not very removable really no reason to take it off anyway and here is the little tiny switch which operates it it has a nice little side switch it's not too um, I mean it's pretty easy to locate the switch in the dark uh, for one thing because it's directly opposite the clip which is a good reason not to take the clip off so when you're holding it like that in the dark and the button is just on the opposite side so that's pretty simple the uh, it has a Cree LED and the lens as you can see is I'm not sure what exactly they call this it's a very unique kind of lens which gives the beam a very flooded appearance so here is the manual and again oh that side is Chinese and again you have your basic information here with kind of what we looked at a few moments ago it is waterproof impact resistant of course and here are your modes now as well as the standard modes here you also have three emergency modes or flashing modes strobe SOS I'm sorry strobe SOS and beacon there is also a lockout feature so you can click the button three times while it's off and then it'll lock out it'll flash first and then stop and the only thing it'll do each time you press the button is flash three times on high and then three clicks again will unlock it and it's now ready to rumble again so let me go through the modes here and pretty much all you do is press the button to turn it on and then press and hold to turn it off and once it's on of course you'll want to give it a holding actually no you don't give it a holding press you just give it single presses like that to advance through the modes because the holding press turns it off and the flashing modes are a double click from when it's off and I believe you can do that when it's on as well yes so the flashing modes come with a double click strobe is first and then another double click for SOS and then another double click for the beacon feature and that just goes it looks like a little lighthouse you see it just uh, goes on and off there every few seconds and a single click from either of those with mode memory will go back to where it was previously and again a holding press will turn it off oh didn't show you moonlight moonlight is a holding press from the off position and here we are with your with the beam and it's a very nice floody beam looks a little brighter on camera than it does to the naked eye but uh, no artifacts or any any weirdness in the beam it's just very round very smooth and will light up a good amount of area just at a single point so this is moonlight and if I press it again you'll have low which isn't too much of a jump and then here's medium and here's high and here's turbo and again for its size you have I'm assuming if their calculations are correct you have over 500 lumens on a light that's less than two inches and that's pretty darn bright and uh, according to um, I mean I haven't timed this and I'm not sure again if their calculations are correct but they're saying somewhere around an hour 
that it would actually last on turbo but I'm finding it hard to believe that it would actually last an hour on turbo considering that the battery is only just over 500 mAh and so forth and it's already starting to get warm while it's on turbo just for those 15-20 um, seconds I had it on it's already getting warm at the top not overly warm but just warm so I imagine if you had it turned and left on turbo for some time, even a minute or two, it would start to get um, perhaps uncomfortably warm to hold on to, which is understandable. But anyway, that's what I'm just saying as far as the top brightness of it is concerned. And as you can see, again, it's very nice light uh, for a very nice beam for, for something so small. The ultimate in EDC convenience, I would say. Let me take it outside and we'll have a look at it in the proper darkness as it were and see how it looks out there. that was helpful um, you can see a couple more pictures of course as always on my written review at lightsandgear.com it um, is a very pocketable flashlight absolutely I mean some people may say well it's just too small I'll lose it well I mean that's up to you if you lose things that are small or not the pocket clip is good and sturdy so it's certainly not gonna fall off if you have it attached anywhere or even on the or even on a peak cap or any anything like that it's not going to fall off I wouldn't put it loose somewhere because then you do have the chance of losing it if it's going to flop around so I would definitely attach it but again it's um, pretty nifty for again something so incredibly small uh, there is a link below if you'd like to pick one up of course um, Amazon will will get you there and of course if you have questions or comments I hope you'll discuss those with me below and the Falomov C2 is what we've been talking about today thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it we'll see you next time you take care bye bye